Southern Cameroonians, Ambazonians, great warriors of the Southern Cameroon's liberation struggle. Today is the 29th day. It's a Sunday, the 29th day of the month of December in the year of our Lord 2019. We are just three days, three days away from the end of the year 2019. So let me take this opportunity to say Merry Christmas to each and every one of us in our ears and then say Happy New Year, Happy and the prosperous and very successful and resounding New Year 2020 from this end. My dear people, today I bring a message of hope. Today I bring a message of confidence. Today I bring good news to all those who have been weary and wondering whether it is still going to be possible for us to succeed in our quest for freedom. My dear people, for those who watched me and who do not know who is speaking, my name is John Bakuro. Fellow Southern Cameroonians, in the course of the year 2019, we have known a lot of mixed fortunes. We started this year with quite some confusion in our ranks, and we tried as much as possible in the course of the year to try and fix all these fissures. But as the days went by, we continued to know ever more division. Some have wondered why, but the reason is simple. Because our enemy is working 24-7 to ensure that we remain divided. The enemy believes, and strongly so, that it is only in our division that we shall be destroyed and subdued. But I have good news for you all, and very bad news for that enemy. That this division sometimes has actually ended up really being our strong point. Because of this division, it has been impossible for the enemy to bribe almost everybody out of the struggle. Because of this division too, it has been impossible for the enemy to cage all of us into some kinds of initiatives that really did not present, I mean, the kind of good tidings that we expect to move forward. Because of the skepticism in the minds of some, we have continued to play the watchdog against each other. And that is why we continue to hold each other in check to make sure that we keep our restoration quest alive. My dear people, I like what I'm seeing this month of December. I like what I'm hearing. I like what I'm reading on almost all the social media forums. You must have realized too for yourself that there is a newfound energy. Despite the division, nothing new has happened. There is nothing called unity that is about to happen. But just some wonderful air is blowing Within the ranks of the people of the Southern Cameroons, the Spirit of God has resumed its work in our midst. You can look today and see that almost every Southern Cameroonian everywhere around the world is getting more and more mobilized. Ask them why. Most of them will not even tell you why. But everyone is determined that 2020 will not be the same. Everyone is determined that we must not carry the confusion, the misunderstanding, the disagreements of 2019 into 2020, but not necessarily because we are uniting, but because we are all now going to be extremely focused, focused on the enemy and on the enemy alone. I am delighted at this regain of momentum. I am delighted to find that people have decided to constitute serious polls again and are contributing money seriously to see how we change our story. I'm also delighted that a lot of developments are going on from, I mean, among the various chapels, a lot of consultations are happening. And my dear people, a lot of breakthroughs are totally underreported. And that is purposeful. We have decided not to report every single breakthrough that we are having right now. And so I bring you good news. The good news is that the level of mobilization now is clearly indicative to the effect that there will be no elections on the 9th of February on the territory of the Southern Cameroons. Whether Mr. Paul Bia and all his French allies like it or not, there will be no election on our territory. My dear people, I want to congratulate all Southern Cameroonians, both those who have taken the light to insult everyone and those who have taken it as a duty to encourage everyone. You all have played a marvelous role in making sure we keep this restoration dream 
alive. The news I bring today is that the serious mobilization that is going on in our ranks is really troubling Yaoundé. There is confusion in the lion's day. Mr. Pobia is confused. They don't know what is happening right now. They don't understand what has brought this new enthusiasm again in the ranks of the people of the Southern Cameroons. They don't know what has reawakened this wave of optimism. And they don't know which group in particular is doing this so that they should try to jump into that group to set the confusion. They are lost. My dear people, this is the working of the Holy Spirit of God. When God says yes, there is no power whatsoever that can say no. And remember, I said here before, that when God instructs, even the devil obeys. My dear people, we are about to change the game. We are about to change the way things happen on the ground in the southern Cameroons. I bring great news here. That with the collaboration of all the stakeholders of the consortium that I have the pleasure to lead, our ground army has been doing a tremendous job. And I'm sure you are seeing the results of what I called in broken language last fight number one. Almost every other stakeholders has, uh, stakeholders have picked their battle arm and they're on the field, working hard to make sure we see last fight number one come through. My dear people, our foot soldiers have entered all the nooks and crannies of the Southern Cameroons. Last night, I was looking at pictures of some of our emissaries who were on their way to Furawa from Isu in Menchum, for those who know Menchum County. Trekking from Isu to Menchum is a serious, serious task. So they sent me photographs of just swollen feet and everything and how they were battling to make sure that they get to that locality to continue the sensitization. I was looking at pictures that people sent to me from Dumbo. People sent to me pictures from Ramrock. People sent to me pictures from Ako, from Misaje. People sent to me pictures right from, you will be surprised, right from Njungo. If you have been to Njungo in Kopenwanenguba County, that is specifically in Nguti local government area, from Wata, which is the junction where you are living from Sancho Chang to head to the hinterlands of the Mbo area, from Wata, to get to Njungo trekking, it will take you at least, I mean at least, three or four hours. I've received pictures from people who have trekked right into Njungo to carry this message there. You can see them smiling, excited, happy, but with swollen feet, some of them have developed blisters, some of them have wounds, some of them fell and even have injuries, but they are excited to do, to, to do this job. I have seen some of them who have gone right up to Mbo Elumba. Oh my goodness. From Beta to Elumba, there is no road. You will only trek. I did that journey for one hour, 45 minutes. That was in 1999. A lot of people are doing work on the ground. Those who have been to Ngosi, those who have trekked right to Koto Barombi, the island village. Yes, they use canoes to cross right onto the island to send the sound message of last fight number one across. I have listened to people who even as we speak are at Ejibanyanga. Do you know where Ejibanyanga is? Ejibanyanga is already on the Bakasi Peninsula. Our people are right in there. Our foot soldiers are there. They have gone to Ewe. Ewe is when you leave Muyuka and you start going round to come behind Mount Cameroon and get right to Idenau. Our people are at Ewe, Ebe, everywhere. They are trekking and doing this wonderful job. My dear people, all these people need from us. Even those who have gone right up to Mbat, to Nkiko in Bangem, as a struggle to get right up to the twin Kupenwanenguba Lake areas where people live to take this message to them, they have written to me. They have called me. They have expressed the need for some minor assistance, just little assistance to enable them carry along with them first aid kits, to enable them carry along with them little supplies they can eat as they trek up and down to do this massive job of sensitization of rekindling hope in our people that the day of freedom is near. They have reached out to me and they say 
they need your assistance. How no matter how little it can be. And I come to you today, my dear people, as your humble servant. When I look at this platform, I have about 18,000 people subscribed to this platform. From the time I created this platform in 2017, you have spent time with me on this platform. Some of you have enjoyed the breaking news I bring. Some have enjoyed the analysis that I bring to help inform us about the happenings around us. A good Lord have spent time insulting me and calling me names. Those insults have also helped in shaping the way that I think, in shaping the way that we do things. Those insults have been helpful. My dear people, a lot of you have spent time encouraging me, urging me on. Those messages did not land. Oh, my dear people, on the deck's back, they made sense and they continue to make sense. That is why today I come to you. To say, because you have enjoyed what I've been doing on this platform, I need you today to do a one-time donation to support my work. Oh, yes. I just need your support. Do a one-time donation to support my work, to support these investigations that would the team that I've been working with, I carry out to bring to you this information. My dear people, I urge every one of you watching me this day, don't postpone this. I need you to contribute as you watch $10. I mean $10, only $10, not more than that. This is all I request. It's true that if your heart is moved, if you are really moved by what I've been doing on this platform, free of charge, I've never asked for anything from anybody to support this work that I do here. But today I come to you and see if you are moved by what I have been doing, if you want to urge me and all of those who have been supporting this initiative on, today, as you listen to me, pick up your phone. Make a one-time donation of $10. I mean $10. And I also say, if you are moved to do a bigger donation because you are really appreciative, because you find that what I've been doing is awesome, you can do more, as your heart says. But I am requesting for $10 only. We are 18,000 of us who are accustomed to this platform. I need $10, only $10 from each and every one of you. These foot soldiers need your assistance. These foot soldiers need first aid kits. These foot soldiers need communication credit. These foot soldiers need to carry just basic food supplies and water as they go along to do this job. These foot soldiers need your assistance. They need to know that we back them. And I therefore am using this platform, selling my services, to you, so that in exchange, we together use these resources to assist these foot soldiers to do what they are doing. My dear people, I know that there are some who insult me, say, yes, he has come again, cap in hand, begging for money. Please don't hesitate to insult. But by the time you finish insulting me, go ahead and send in the $10. I will still take it because I need it, because we need it, because these foot soldiers need that money. I don't want to take a lot of your time on this. To contribute, send, use the telephone number 301-989-6324. That will be Cash App. You want to use Zelle? The same number, 301-898-6324. I repeat this number, 301-898-6324. You will notice that this is the account of the Ambazonia Relief Fund. You definitely will ask yourself, but why am I not giving my personal account? Because I'm raising this money on this platform for this platform to assist our people. I simply am using this public account because I want to have a great traceability of the, this contribution that you will make. So that we will spend it together with the team at the ARF in a way that you will receive accountability. In a way that I will bring the reporting back to you here to say how much was raised as a result of this initiative and how the money has been used. And if you are not in the United States of America, because everyone should be able to contribute, everyone should be able to assist me on this platform, and you have to use PayPal, then use Amber Relief 2018 at gmail.com. Amber A M B A R E L I E F 2018 at gmail.com. I take it over. Amber Relief is A M. B, A, R, as in Robert, E, L, I, 
E F 2018 at gmail.com. But at the same time, if you don't do electronic money transfer at any level at all, I still need that $10 from you. You want to send it even through Western Union. I wouldn't mind. My people wouldn't mind going to Western Union to collect $10. If you want to send it through MoneyGram, you want to send through World Remit, you want to send through RIA, no, no problem, no stress at all. Call this telephone number 301. 989-6324. 301, no, 301-898. I beg your pardon. 301-898-6324. Call that telephone number and ask for the necessary information to send your money through any of these agencies and you will get to talk to someone. But if for any reason you think you need to talk to me particularly, absolutely, before making that contribution, I will not hesitate to take your call. Call me on 443-985-3480. 443-985-3480. My dear people, we have to win. My dear people, the hour of victory is close. It only depends on how we go ahead to unlock this victory that is ours. We have heard a series of discouraging messages. We have heard a lot of people go around and claim, Oh, this thing has failed. So just go and take your own little share from La Republic du Cameroon. They will give you some telling refugees like Dr. Sox and Congo. They will give you money. They will give you a startup. They will give you some little resources to go settle like uh, Ellie Smith, who now works officially for Prime Minister John Gute because uh, this is official news. It's not uh, uh, what uh, you, some, some people call mud slinging. It's not rumor. Ellie Smith has been officially recruited by John Gute and he now works in the office of John Gute. That is why he's out there in Ecom and everywhere in the refugee camps with the success in Congo, trying to convince our people to go back to certain death. My dear people, you must avoid that trap. So I want to say a lot of people will try to try and discourage us. We have heard messages of people saying it will not work. Don't bother yourself. Those who quote uh, Representative Karen Bass, who is doing a tremendous job for the people of the Southern Cameroons and for humanity. There are people who have quoted her to say she's an example of one who says we can never succeed. Some have quoted uh, uh, the Secretary of State Herman Cohen. They have quoted people left and right. My dear people, I even listened to Tinsley forget. These same people made the same kinds of revelations, the same kinds of pronouncements, just on the eve of Ericha achieving their independence. Ericha is independent. They said the same thing on the eve of East Timor getting its independence from Indonesia. East Timor is independent. They are doing the same thing with Somaliland. Somaliland is mostly and completely independent even. They did the same with Southern Sudan just months before Southern Sudan became independent. Our case will not be different. There is one thing we must do, my dear people. We must turn back. We must give back this struggle to God to whom it belongs. God ordained and initiated the struggle and picked the good lot of us to come into the struggle and bring in our contribution. We came in, but the devil is a sneak. The devil also found his way to sneak right into the heart of the struggle and derail the minds of some among us to start believing in fetishism to start believing in Odeshi, to start, begin, to start believing in all sort of blood-sucking blood uh, charms. My dear people, the time for power to change hands has come. Power must shift back from the terrain of the devil back to God. I have urged all and sundry, wherever you are and whatever you are doing within the framework of the struggle, turn back to God. Turn back to God. We need to turn back to God. Let me tell you this. When you go to the devil to fight the devil, you are therefore going to meet someone on the terrain where he masters most and you are the apprentice sorcerer. Mr. Paul Bia and his government has proven to us beyond reasonable doubt that they are a demonic regime functioning according to the precepts of Lucifer. And when we go to get Lucifer to assist us in fighting his arch agent, there we are actually mixing up our pedals. Let me say this. Do not fight a fish in water. You are a loser because that is its forte. Do not fight a snake on grass. You are a loser because that is its forte. We must change the battlefield. We must change the battlefield. And in 2020, power must change hands. Let me close this communication 
at this point in time, my dear people, by revealing to you that if what God has continued to show me and he has continued to show it to many other people is anything to go by, then 2020 will be a very decisive year in our collective struggle for freedom. Do not miss the train. Do not stand on the sidelines. La République is already trembling even when there is nothing yet to show them proof that they should tremble. This is because, my dear people, the determination of a people seeking to break free from, bond from bondage, only that alone is more than enough to send the enemy freaking. We must re-strategize. We must recalibrate. And we must make sure that we attain our objective. The army of King Pharaoh was mightier, 10 times mightier than that of dictator Paul Bia. But my dear people, the children of Israel, with no arms at all, were able to overcome. How much more of us, the people of Southern Cameroon, with all the knowledge and techniques God has endowed us with, we must win. We must win. So again, before I go, I remind you, as you watch, do not postpone this. This drive is running from today right up to the 3rd of January. But honestly, I feel like closing it on the 31st because this is of this end of year. As you watch, pick up whatever wallet you have. Make sure you send in your $10. To God be all the glory. Aluta continue.